Hello, what is up YouTube? Scott D616 here, coming at you guys with a video on how to live stream on the PS4. They make it really easy to if you guys don't know how to already, but if you guys don't know how to, I'll be showing you guys how to right now. You can do it on any game. This is Minecraft, for example. I mostly do live streams on Black Ops 3. It is really simple. Now, you're going to hit... There is the very controller. You're going to hit the share button, which is on the left left side of your controller. Over here is your options, and over here is your share button. We're going to click that, and it's going to take you to the screen. Or you can upload a video clip, which is recent activities I've done. You can upload a screenshot, which you can't upload to YouTube. Well, you can share with your friends. You can start share play, which I would probably do another video on that. And you can broadcast gameplay. And then you're going to click that. And you have three options. You have Twitch, you have YouTube, and you have Ustream. Twitch is a semi-decently popular uh, live stream broadcaster. YouTube, everyone knows about. You go to YouTube, look up a video, and everyone knows about YouTube. Ustream, never heard of, so we're not going to even bother with that. I do not have a Twitch account, so we're going to be bothering with YouTube. Click on YouTube, and you're going to get all these options at. Now, there's three options up here. There's that one, which would include the PlayStation camera, which I do not have. You put on top of your TV, show your face, which I think it's kind of dumb to begin with, unless you have a lot of subscribers. Include microphone. That's where you're going to, most people are going to click that to do commentary. You can just speak through your headphones, it, and you get commentary out of it. It's really neat. There's display messages. Spectators, which is gonna, you don't see up there. It's gonna broadcast your gameplay and it's gonna show who's commenting and who is watching, which is kind of dumb because it takes up like some of your screen. It's and it shows it on YouTube, so it's kind of dumb. So you never gonna click that. You have a title, whatever you're gonna do, type it in. Description, quality. Now, I'm gonna give you a recommendation for quality. There's four options: medium. Well, no, nah, there's five. Sorry about that. There's low, which is absolutely garbage. That's probably 140p. There's medium, which is probably a touch in 420p. And then there's the lowest, there's the highest of the mediums, which is 720p. Exactly, I can tell that by, just by that, because 720p is the lowest you can get for considered high definition. There's high, which I have always live streamed on. It's the best quality I'm going to get where it's not laggy. And there's best. To me, to be honest, there's no difference between best and high. It's just a little, maybe a little crisper to you pixel hunters. I don't know. I always do on mine high. Whether I'm live streaming online or just by myself. There's, there's all this garbage where you can put tags. You're always going to include drawn line tags if you're going to get uh, subscribers. And you can select players to invite people to your live stream. Now, if you have people in your party, you're going to have to ask them to have their voice in it because legally. You have to ask them because you're not allowed to broadcast someone's voice without their consent. That's all that's saying. And you're going to hit yes and you're going to be broadcasting. Thanks, guys, for the view. Please subscribe for more content. Let me know what else I could do better and whatever future content I could be sharing with you guys. And that is it.